Damas y caballeros, este es el combate estelar de esta noche. Presentado a ustedes por Boristeca Boxing en asociación con Lou Messina Promotions. Este combate está pactado a seis rounds en la categoría de peso Super Puma. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. Set for six rounds of boxing in the Super Featherweight Division. Your three judges scoring this bout in ringside. Sus tres jueces, Benjamin Rendon, Jesus Gonzalez, y Sergio Lechuga. And when the action begins, your third man, el tercero en la superficie, Juan Morales Lee. Ahora bien, amigos que nos acompañan a través de la señal de LA TV, desde el Salón Mezzanine, en la frontera más visitada del mundo, Tijuana, Baja California, México. Ajusten sus cinturones. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red and white, official weight. 130 pounds. Presentando a ustedes, peleando en la esquina azul, vistiendo calzoncillo color rojo con blanco, con un peso de 60 kilogramos. Professional, he stands at three victories, one loss, and one of that victory coming by the way of knockout. Presenta un récord de tres victorias, una derrota, y esa victoria por la vía del knockout. Fighting out of Pamir, Tajikistan, and Los Angeles, California, USA. Dami y Gaspada, Pajalosta, Dabro Pajalovet, introducing Alim Juma Kono. And before he comes the ring fighting in the red corner, wearing black trunks with yellow trim, official weight, 130 pounds. Y su oponente en la esquina roja, vistiendo calzoncillo color amarillo con negro, con un peso de 60 kilogramos. Professionally, he stands at two victories, three losses, and two of those victories coming by the way of knockout. Presenta un record de dos victorias, tres derrotas, y esas dos victorias por la vía del knockout. De Tijuana, Baja California, México. Miguel Villalobos. <laughs> Juan Morales Lee. Marcos Viega is here being joined with Diego Magdaleno, welcoming you to Best in Boxing, where we're seeing Tajikistan's own Alim Jumakonov taking on Miguel Villalobos. Jumakonov, of course, three one and one, fighting out of Los Angeles, and Miguel Villalobos of Tijuana, Mexico. As this is a 130 pound bout, as we'll go ahead and starting round number one between the two, Alim in the red with white trim, Villalobos the black and yellow, and from what we're seeing now, Alim. Looks tight in his posture. He looks like he, he has a good amount of experience as he lands a really good body shot. What can you tell right away from your opponent when they come in and things like that, Diego? Right, you can you can tell that they have history in boxing. They've they've done their homework and they have. He looks like a, Aleem looks like a, a sound fighter. He's got his guard up and his hands in tight. So that says a lot about a fighter just uh, from the stance. He's pretty ripped up too. He's in good shape, as you can see. That there's skill there. It, you know, with certain fighters, you, you could tell in their stance when they're first starting out if there's things they need to work on. And he looks like he, at this point, from what we're seeing in, in the first round or so, that he got a good grasp of the basics. He does. It looks like he's been, uh, you know, he's had his uh, few fights in the amateurs, and uh, you can tell he has pop in both hands. He caught him with a, a nice left hook there. As the two now exchanging on the inside. Villalobos here, he's coming to fight, man. He's throwing some haymakers in there. He, he wants to earn that money. As the two are exchanging now in the center of the ring, and that's the thing that makes it so tough as a pro sometimes when you go ahead and fight these fighters from Mexico, from Tijuana. You never know what you're going to get, but you know they're tough as hell. Oh, yeah, they come to fight. They have a lot of heart, and they have a strong chin, so that's something to be aware about. As Alim now moving forward with the jab, 
looking for an opening as he lands an overhand hook right there. But Villalobos now tying up, giving himself some space now and trying to work something to see what can work as Alim now rushing in but missing with that straight right hand. Good jab from Villalobos, though he's on his back foot moving back. You gotta wonder if the power of Alim is making him think twice about some of the stuff that he's doing in there. Yeah, I see he's uh, smothering up his shots. So I, again, get that distance and uh, you know plant those shots in there very well. Alim looks like a stocky guy. He looks like he does have power. But you, you can never tell though, because a, a guy like Villalobos, oh, that, that looked like that might have stunned Villalobos, a little poke right over there. Yeah. Like oh, wow! Alim with a huge hook. Let's see if Villalobos gets up from this. Clearly, Alim has uh, power in his hand, so um, this fight doesn't look like it'll last too long. This is going to tell us right now if he will survive, and he's on shaking footing right now. He may have been out. Alim, I believe, getting the stoppage win in this first round. Huge, huge overhand right that goes ahead and stops Miguel Villalobos. And you got to give it to him. You, you could tell from the very beginning this guy looked like he had power, looked like he knew what he's doing in there, and he displayed it. In shape, and he did a, a job well done. He went in there and uh, he uh, connected with, with big shots. So let's go ahead and tell us how you feel he set up what eventually became the stoppage right here. Eventually, yes, he was timing him, and timing is everything. You know, he caught him with that nice, great left hook, and that's what sent him to the canvas. That was a left hook from hell. That that had a lot of that. That would have stopped a lot of guys in there, and his hands were down. I, I, there's no way he would have gotten up from that. This guy has a bright future. As we see here, a different angle, and he's just wide open with that flush on the jaw as Villalobos goes down. You see that he wants to fight after the first knockdown but here comes the stoppage victory as he gets him in the corner he knows he's out and the referee stopping him from further punishment it's a good call from the referee i, I don't think he would have been able to take any more of those punches yeah those are big big shots from a, a fighter in shape and from that that range he he landed some good shots as Aleem calm now, showing his powers, we take it up to Pablo Flores. In round number one, tenemos el tiempo oficial de dos minutos treinta y ocho segundos en el primer asalto, declarando el ganador por la vía del knockout. Your winner, by the way of knockout, Aleem Jumakono. Jumakonov now improving his record to four. I really liked what he what he showed it in the ring, showing his power, as uh, he's showing that he has a bright future here in boxing. You know, people just don't understand how tough this life is. People ask me then, why do it? Simple. I want to be the best in boxing. <laughs>